everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Today is something very special. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review video. I've not done one of these for a while, mainly because I don't have that many boxes to unbox. But the French recorder and traverso maker Vincent Bernolin has sent me a couple of instruments to try and I am so excited. So Vincent actually makes something really special. Apart from wooden recorders, he also makes resin recorders and traverso flutes. These are high quality instruments that are still at an affordable price. Um, I've heard a lot about them. You guys have been telling me about them, but I've never tried them. So I was super happy that Vincent could send me a couple to have a look at. I did already open the box and stick my hand inside to check that everything was intact, but I've not actually looked in there yet. So here we go. So we have a lot of packaging foam. This is a good way to transport your instruments in case you are wondering. Ooh. 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 Oh my gosh, I was not expecting four instruments. Okay. Uh. What do we have in bag number one is we have an alto in dark resin. Ooh, ooh, it's pretty light. bags are really nice. They're kind of lined with fleece in the middle, really compact with a zip. These are some of the nicest recorder bags I've seen. Okay, the second instrument is the same kind of resin. This is in 415 Baroque pitch and I love the sound. Bag number three, it's another alto in 442. Bag number four. Another alto in 415. I'm gonna go away and play these for a while and then I'm gonna go to Then I'm gonna come back and share my experiences with you. So I've had a bit of time to try out these recorders and I'm going to give you my opinion on them and compare them to my wooden recorders as well. First, a little bit of background on these instruments. I was reading up about them and Vincent created these resin recorders um, basically for teachers that want to use them in a lot of lessons, for professionals who want to back up for concerts um, in case something happens to their wooden ones or for practice, or for people that maybe want a 415 recorder without the huge price tag. Now, Vincent offers his resin recorders in alto and soprano sizes in both modern and baroque pitch. Uh, this is huge. Now, when I bought my first Baroque Alto, it was a massive investment for me. Wooden ones tend to cost upwards of a thousand, often two or even more. Uh, Vincent's resin recorders are starting from 420 up to 500 something. Yeah, I know it's still not cheap, but it's a lot smaller price for a high quality instrument. So the advantage of this high quality resin is that it is not affected by temperature or humidity. Maybe that's good if you you live in a country with an extreme climate um, and it also doesn't experience wear and tear in the same way as a wooden recorder. I have obliterated modern altos by playing so much contemporary music on them and I think it could also be really nice to have as a teaching instrument or a practice instrument so I can play for many hours a day without um, tiring out my concert recorders. All right, let's have a look at the instrument itself. They are based on Stainsby recorders. And what I really like is that they have a real block of cedar wood. So that gives that gives that nice recorder sound. Uh, and what's the difference between this and a regular plastic recorder? Well, I was reading that plastic instruments are made by um, injection mold so I guess they kind of just pour the plastic through an injection into a mold and it goes blah, 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 blah. and that way of making a recorder means you have to make compromises on its shape in ways that you wouldn't with a wooden recorder and apparently these resin recorders can be built more in a way similar to wooden recorders so you're getting closer to their sound very nice it's very clean 
uh, the joints just fit, everything kind of fits perfectly because I guess Vincent has had a lot of time to perfect his design and then every recorder can come out equally perfect. It is slightly heavier than my wooden recorder. I expected the wood to be heavier, but the wood's a tiny bit lighter. And if I compare where the holes are, yeah, it's pretty much the same. There's no surprises here. I'm gonna have a listen to the tuning on this uh, 442 alto. These recorders are really well in tune, as you would expect. With uh, wooden recorders, sometimes one note is a little bit out because every instrument is different. With plastic recorders, well, some of them are, as we know, some of them are great, some of them are horrific. But these ones, the tuning is good. <laughs> like is that the response, that's how easily the notes sound, is excellent. The high notes you can get easily and softly without cracking, so it seems like it's a very agile instrument. What we want to hear is the sound, of course, so I am going to compare both resin recorders with my wooden recorders just so that you can have a listen. I'm going to start with the 415 alto playing the same piece as I always, always do. on my rosewood baroque alto. modern pitch. condensation running out of the recorder but I didn't warm it up for as long as I probably should have and it hasn't appeared to have affected the sound yet. I am really impressed with these recorders. They look super professional. If I saw this on stage from afar I would have no idea that it wasn't a wooden one. Even the holes are all cut properly at the right angles. Um, it's really, really nice. The only cons I can see that um, if you need a very light instrument, they are very slightly heavier. And yeah, the sound is slightly different than a wooden recorder. It depends what you want. It's very bright and clear. So that was 
my little look at the resin recorders by Vincent Benelon. I suggest you go and check out his website and look at the full range of instruments he offers. I'm really interested in his 415 Sopranos and I'm basically now deciding which one of these I'm going to buy. And if you own one of these recorders already, please tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to hear your experiences. Well, that's it from me today. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Over here is a link to my web shop where you can order my debut album, Constellations. And up here is a link to my last unboxing video, which was a million years ago. Have a great day. Bye.